So now we will see calendars in Primavera. You can create and assign calendars to each resource and each activity as well. These calendars define the available work hours in each calendar day. For example, Sunday you can put some other work hours. Monday to Thursday you can specify some other work hour. So that you can modify in these calendars. You can also specify national holidays or your own organization's holiday or project specific work or non-work days and you can go for a vacation. Uh, you can specify the dates and everything. So you can use this calendar in Primavera. So for that, I am just going for enterprise calendars. So here we have global resource and project. We can create global calendars, we can create resource calendar and we can also create project calendars. So three calendar pools we have global resource and project. So the global calendar contain calendars that apply to all projects. If you want any calendar that can be reused in any other project, you need to like add in global. You can assign either resource or global calendar to your resources as well. And you can assign either global or project calendar to activities as well. So you can link resource and project calendars to our global calendars as well. Then if you make changes to a global calendar, your changes will be applied to all resource and project calendars as well that are linked to the global calendar. Now I am just going to create one calendar. So I am just going for add and you can take which template you want. For example, if I'm just taking a, like a 7 cross 24, it is like a 24 hours calendar. Otherwise you can go for 5 cross 10. That is like a 5 days 10 hours. So I'm just going for plus. So you will get the new calendar over here. Now I'm just going for 6 days calendar, 6 days calendar. And I'm just going for modify. So in six days calendar, when you're clicking modify, you also have total work hours per day, or you can just go for detailed work hours per day. So these two you will be available with total work hours is 10. Otherwise, you can go for detailed work hours. If you want to modify this 10, you can just go for work week. So when you are clicking work week, you can able to see the values over here. There you can specify. Normally in Gulf countries, Sunday is working day, Sunday is the start day of a week so you can just specify 8 or 9 and then monday 9 tuesday 9 and then wednesday 9 and thursday also 9 so friday and saturday normally it's holiday in gulf countries so i'm just putting zero i'm just clicking ok once you're clicking ok everything is updated so can you able to see that here friday and saturday in a, uh, this blue color this blue color represent non-work so this legend you can see and you can uh, Justify which day it is non work day or work day. If it is a work day, you will be having the standard color If it is a non work, you will be having this color. Sometimes we also have exception. For example uh, You want to uh, put a uh, new year as exemption. You can just go for exception So for that I'm just going to put that as non work. For example, I'm just going to put 17 as exception I'm just clicking 17. I'm just going for non work So non work in the sense it is in uh, blue color but exception, which means like uh, in 17, we can go for half day. Half day is something like exception, you know, that you can do. If you make that 17 uh, like holiday, you need to put non-work that I put. Now I just want to put 24 as exception. So I'm just going to change the work hours. I'm just going to put only four hours. See, can you able to see the color now changed to white, little bit white. So that is like exception. So everything else nine hours, but only 24, we have four hours. So 17 is zero because it is like a non-work. So like this, you can able to update in your calendar or a standard non-work or exception. And now if you are going for time period, there you can able to specify the work hours per day, work hours per week, everything. Okay. Here you can specify eight, uh, nine hours per day, and then it should be like a 45 per week. So per month, it should be like, uh, you can calculate. So I'm just going to put 9 into 30. 
so 270 normally we will consider only 30 days 270 and then we can go for 365 into 9 so 3285 you can input those value so 3285 and then click ok so I am considering per day as 9 hours if you considering 8 hours then it will become 40 and it will become like 240 like that it will reduce so that is called time period now I am just going for a detailed work hours per day where I am just going for work week now if you are clicking work week then you can able to see the uh, values over here for example we are just starting from 7.30 until 4.30 you can make change to this you just hold shift and then select until Thursday so it will be selected it all be selected and then you can just specify the timings for example I am just going to start our work from 9 o'clock so from 9 o'clock we are just going to start our work and then uh, 12 o'clock and then we are just going to uh, put work until 6 o'clock we need to work from 9 until 6 so 18 this is like a railway time so 18 means 6 o'clock 6 p.m. I'm just putting in between if you want any break you can put for example like uh, 12 to 1 if you want 12 to 1 break or 12 30 to 1 you can just put non work so it is automatically it will change the color and it will update the project accordingly only half an hour lunch break if you want one hour you can put this also non work so if you want to increase some working hours here you can put work and then work here so this is what we can do and then you click ok now you can able to see if you're clicking then you will be seeing the changes that we have made in work week see this is like having like 8 30 to 11, 12 o'clock and then 12 to 1 lunch break and then 1 to 6 30 it is like a work so like this you can able to update calendars in your project so i'm clicking ok if you're clicking ok only it will accept otherwise uh, if you want to cancel you can cancel i'm just clicking ok now we have created a six day calendar that in global that you can go for resource as well and here you can able to go for creating a new calendar for example operator we have created then i'm just going for modify then you can able to modify all those details here and you can modify the name and everything now if you want to delete you can delete otherwise if you want to make it to global you can make it to global So global in the sense it will become global calendar so i'm just putting global are you sure want to convert this calendar to a global calendar yes so you can able to see that in global so in global operator it came so if you don't want you can delete it the selected calendar are being used by at least one resource would you like to select a replacement calendar or link this resource to the default global calendar instead so i think this calendar if it assigned to some some resource then it is displaying this kind of things I'm just going to link to default global calendar and then click OK. So that resource will take the default global calendar. So now we deleted that. So we can also create project calendar for a separate projects like we do have here. We can see what it is. You can go for modify. Now they consider as eight hours. Like in India, it is like Saturday and Sunday is holiday from Monday to Friday. It is like working day. So that's why they consider eight hours that from Monday to Friday you can go for work week then you can able to see the details and you can go for time period there it is like 8 40 172 2000. So this we will check whether it is right or not. So 8 into 5 days 40 that one is right and 8 into 30 it is like a 240 per month but here it is only 172 why they are also considering the holidays in between so 30 minus so totally 5 you know like uh, they will be considering as 172 divided by 8 i am putting they are considering only 21.5 days the, the rest of the days goes to holiday weekends so that's why they are putting 172 here so you can specify accordingly
See, normally this is default. 8, 40, 172, 2000 is default. Uh, 2000 divided by 8. So only 250 days out of 365 they're considering. So minus 365. So totally 115 days goes to holidays. So you can specify accordingly. It depends on your projects or depends on your organization. I'm just clicking OK. Again, I'm just going for time period, but I'm just going for detailed work hours per day. Now I'm just going for time period. The same it will come. But here, if you're going for work week, then you can able to see the difference. Okay, these options we have in our calendars. And inherit all it is and exemptions from global calendar. If you want to inherit something from other calendar, you can do that from here. So no need to manually update the holidays. It will update by itself. For example, uh, we already did, you know, something uh, like uh, in a uh, six days calendar. I'm just going for six days calendar. Can you able to see the holidays that incorporated here? Like uh, we inherited some holidays from global calendar. That's why the globe appears here. And we can also see the 24 is holiday, uh, 24 is exception there and 17 is holiday there. So that's why here it is showing. So for that, you can use like this. Otherwise, you can put none. And if you want to accept the changes, you can go for OK. Otherwise, you can go for cancel. Now I'm just going to cancel because this is like a predefined calendar that is almost uh, that is already there in the software itself. Are you sure you want to cancel the changes? Yes. So like this, you can able to create all these three calendars, global resource project, and you can make any calendars to global as well. And you can reuse as well. Everything is very simple in this primavera.